Hi everyone, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I wanted to talk about the Google Meet Quality Tool. It's a, not a new tool necessarily, but it has been recently updated, and it's part of the Google Admin Panel. If you want to know more about it, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so firstly, what is the Google Meet Quality Tool? Well, as I said, it's part of the administrative control panel and it allows admins in a Google Workspace domain to get a better overview of the quality of the calls, the video calls on Google Meet that are happening within their domain. Um, it's accessible, and I'm doing a screen share here, it's accessible within the Google Meet settings uh, of the admin panel. It is primarily you know, for really administrators. Um, and as you can see here when I dive in, it gives me a quick overview of all of the um, Google Meets that have happened within my organization the last week or so. I've actually gone back 24 days. Uh, this is our test domain, so not quite as many uh, calls happening. But Lauren did some training um, last week and I thought that one would actually be a, a good example to show. So we can sort of get an overview here of the, the kind of general um, meetings that are happening. Uh, I can also look at participants if, if I prefer, or devices if you've got Google Meet devices as well. Uh, so if I dive into this particular meeting here, you can see it gives me a broad overview of the meeting. I can see the participants down the left hand side and I can select just one participant or all of the participants and I can see the length of time that they've been in the meeting. I can see whether someone has muted their microphone or not. So again, that can be valuable from a training point of view to see how often people are actually engaging. I can see the activities that were happening. So uh, screen sharing happened and recording happened and both of those were done by Lauren. And we can see that she was in the meeting from 8.55 until 10.33. And then when we scroll down further, we can see the network and system um, setup. So we can see the number, uh, the amount of congestion, the connection delays, the milliseconds, um, and also the client CPU. So that's the amount of processing power that Google Meet on average was taking up uh, for those particular um, people. We can also see the location of people. Now, not for everybody because there are people outside of our domain, and so I don't have um, permission to actually view those, but I can see Lauren was based in Leeds. That's where she connected from because she was connecting on our um, particular account. Um, I've also got uh, some additional information here. If I scroll down, I can see things like connection delays. Again, I can see the, the CPU load for people within my domain. Um, I can also see a separation out of audio and video. So we can see overall um, the amount of um, video and audio that was transmitted uh, during the meeting. We can see that overall the microphone quality level was good. There was very little packet loss. You know, overall it, it seemed like most people had um, a, a, good, a good connection. Uh, and the same with the, with the video. We can take a look at the frames per second. Again, the packet loss and the amount of video um, that was sent and received during the actual meeting. And then we can also take a look at the screen share. And again, we can, we can check things like, like frame rates. Um, if these people were in my domain, I would be able to look at um, more specifics on the resolution and the screen share for those particular people. So as you can see, as an administrator, it's very, very useful to be able to have this type of overview on a general basis, but also when you get support tickets in from end users. And I think particularly at the moment, and maybe this is why Google has expanded the feature set, when you've got end users at home on different types of internet connections, maybe even connecting on their phone and things like that. And as an admin, you're trying to figure out what is the problem? What is the challenge um, that people are, are, are having in terms of their, their video call? Is it their connection? Is it Google Meet? Is it their actual you know, CPU usage on their, their computer? I know I had a, an issue before and it ended up being the actual computer itself and um, you know, uh, 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 the amount of software that I had installed and how, how old the device was when I thought it was the connection that was actually slowing down um, the Google Meet video call. So, you know, it is, it, it can be a little bit of um, almost being a bit of a detective <laughs> when, you're, when you're in IT to try to figure out what the problem is. And this gives IT admins another tool to do that uh, within video conferencing and particularly as I said, while people are working remotely, and that's something that's not going to go away. People are going to continue to work remotely um, over, you know, you know from, from now on, basically. And so this is, as I said, another tool really for administrators to be able to figure out what, what is happening um, on their network. Another thing that I wanted to um, bring up for people is you can actually take 
the um, ending of the Google Meet or the sort of Google Meet URL and you can do a search for that and it will actually bring up that particular video call because you can see on here I don't have a huge amount of meetings when I look at my, my general, um, my general uh, meetings on this particular domain but a large company could have hundreds or thousands of calls and so if someone just gives you that URL you can just run a search for it and it will bring up that specific call. Um, so that's it for me guys. I hope you found this update valuable. Um, do let us know in the comments below if you did. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our LinkedIn page if that's where you're watching this. And I will see you guys next week.